What has Rove got in the future plans? What, what are you doing this year, maybe into next year? Is there anything new that you're working on? That's no, nothing. Nothing. Else? Oh, look, it might, there's always plans for other shows. Um, we'd like to do another show with um, the Radio Karate Boys, which is Hamish and Andy yep. and, and Ryan. And um, uh, so in the meantime, we're obviously utilising them uh, on the TV, sh on our show, but it'd be great. I know they've got a, a few more ideas, so hopefully we'll get one of those I say, I love the fact that there's so much Perth in your show. Can I say Hamish and Andy? Yep. Uh, Kerry? Yes. Yourself? Yes. Pete, we can call Dave, Perth, Hughes, right? Dave Hughes, uh, not from Perth, but started out performing in Perth, Isn't which is awesome, how, we, how we met. Do you ever surround go, we're all Perth people? No, because no, I don't socialise okay. with them. Oh, that's all right. Then. Just, oh. I, I think it's a good blend. Sometimes they even look me in the eye. Can yeah, you believe that? Especially when you're wearing the dress. <laughs> yeah, well, I wish they did look me in the are eye. You, are you likely to do one of these nudie runs on your show? No, <laughs> never. never. My mum, you? before she came on the show, she was saying to me, look, I'm so nervous. Do you still get nervous? And I said, oh, not really. And she said, is there anything that would make you nervous now? And I said, look, no, I can't think of anything. Like, you know, when you kind of work live and things like that, there's really not much that would throw you. And then I went, actually, um, sex scene in a movie. Couldn't do it. Really? That I would be nervous. Hmm, so good. Take, there goes your next three questions. Well, but, no, um, my next question is, what would... What would you do? Oh, sorry, finish that one if you like. So nothing makes you nervous. <laughs> I, I, I no, know we're at a point here. No, 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 I was going to ask you. But it's like, who would ask me? Why did I think that was even a possibility? Mum's oh. going, oh, yeah, what would make you nervous? Oh, sex scene in a movie. And she's like, oh, well, I'll, I'll get these people on the phone and tell them not to worry about it anymore. Hmm. You know, it'd be like saying, well, you know, you saying, oh, I'd be really worried about walking on the moon. Why? Is well, that, is that on, the, on, on the calendar for next, well, I must next admit, week sometime? Your show does tend to challenge what people call very conservative type stuff. But you, you're, I'm not you going to do, do, have sex on the show. Not sex. I, I'd rather you didn't, but I was thinking maybe Hamish. But there she go again. <laughs> could, I know that you're very Well, I, I do it with Hamish, but I'd be thinking of Andy. Yes. Fair enough. Did you, you know. Now, what did you think of their nudie run? Did you have a peek? Well, no, I didn't actually. Did you pause? I did love David Did you Hughes pause comment. and have a whisk? Is that what you did? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm Edit. sorry. This is becoming a Today Tonight story here. <laughs> what would you do? Can I ask a question of, of your future? If tomorrow... If, no, if, stop there. What would I do if, in general? In, no, if Rove ended tomorrow, if you ended the show and you said, I don't want to do TV anymore, what would you do if you weren't doing TV? Cause it's Zookeeper. Would you really? Yeah. What are you laughing at? No, there's nothing. I don't mind elephants. I would. I would be a zookeeper. I had the uh, opportunity to... Why not? Have you been to the zoo? Yes, it smells like pee. And you don't oh, like no, you're pee. getting confused with their old studios. Um, see, if I keep making a callback, you can't edit any of that no. out. Um, otherwise, you lose half the interview. <laughs> uh, I, I love going to the zoo, and I had the opportunity to uh, swim with a seal mm. last week at Taronga Zoo in Sydney um, because they've got a little seal um, called Rove mm. um, that, yeah, they've named after me, strangely enough, because <laughs> mm. he's called Rove. It's a bit awesome. pointless, that sentence. Um, but that's really cool. So um, they've got a new exhibit that they're opening up and I got to go and swim with seals. And any time I get to do something like mm. that Enjoy with it. animals, I really love it. And I could quite happily do it. Well, you you know, here's, here's, yeah. here's a quick pop quiz for you. Do you know any other job uh, or career mm. where the job satisfaction is 100%? No. Every time I met a zookeeper, they're the happiest people. N never met a zookeeper who's whinged about their job, mm. goes, this is miserable crap hours, smells like pee, whatever it might be, mm. um, they're always, they just love their job. But you're going to have to put that on hold because you're not going to be on TV for the next 30, 40 years. But I can still work in zoo visits in the meantime. Oh, so true. ha ha ha, that's caught you true. out, no found a loophole, I win. I'm going to ask you another quick question. Sure. Another quick question. Um, have you asked one quick question yet no, to I've, ask I've another quick one. question? <laughs> I've asked you about the, what would you do? You haven't sort of you want to be a zookeeper? That's interesting from television. And you laughed. I did. I thought you were being. You were Dare joking. I say mocked? You know what you did? You went. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's serious. <laughs> that was the look on your face. I want to know. Will you, I'll put challenge to you? Yes. When are you going to get Bert Newton back on your show? I love it when you two work together. Well, uh, we'd have Can't to be at the same network. Do you need start. to? Can't he not, not wear anything that says nine on it? Because he's not on Family Feud anymore. No, you're not allowed to here. Can't you bring him on? No, they even? don't. They don't let people from other networks play. I just. Want I to mean, see we got Lisa on. on, but that was only because she hadn't started on on Sea Patrol or whatever oh, okay. it is that she's doing. Um, and obviously, Magda hasn't started on Kath and Kim yet, and they're there to talk about a, a theatre show. But otherwise, we're not allowed. To, I'm. I mean, you don't see me on. 
Sunrise or, no, it's or a shame. anything like that. I say it's a shame because you'd probably do a good, very good job. Oh, I'd love to do Larry's new show when it starts up. Yeah, what's he's, that? Uh, he's, Larry Emd is doing a, a morning show, a 9 a.m. show. Ask oh, Carrie Ann I'll about it and watch her just go. <gasps> oh, well, that would be Not on Channel 10. What's sh what stations? Nine. Although I wish he would. No, we've got, um, there'd be less whisking going on. Um, oh, wouldn't you love to see Larry whisk? <laughs> He'd be thinking of you, Fred. Um, not touching that one. No, he would be, so he wouldn't have to worry. Hey, I've got uh, one <laughs> final question for you. This is a final question. Now. Is it another short one? No, it is a short one, because I know you're going to probably kill me with this one. Now, have you ever finished an interview by going, I've got five final questions for you? Why Just would you only, of course you've only got, if, if, if it's your final question, there's only one. You okay. can't say, I've got two and a half final questions for you. Where do you park your car? <laughs> No. Question. Oh, that was it. Sorry, we have to take no. your first question. Well, this one you'll probably like because you asked this so you question. So you cheated and you've you now asked, asked two final you've questions. You've seen the question. No, I, I haven't. Have you, every week you get away with asking for 20 bucks. I haven't got 20 bucks. I bought you donuts. But yep. the question I want to ask you is who would you turn gay for? Would you like me to say you? Oh, come on. Because I'm not going to. I would turn gay for Hugh Jackman. Really? What? Hugh Jackman. So if I was, if, okay, so if I was a zookeeper, a gay zookeeper <laughs> going out with Hugh Jackman, you seem to think that's the worst answer in the world. No, no, I, I think. No, you didn't look. like that. But so what, well, what's wrong with Hugh second? Jackman? What is wrong with Mark Hugh? What have you got? Nothing. I think Hugh Did Jack you see the boy from Oz? I did. This is the best part of him. He can be like a sexy rah rah dancing maracas yeah. man. He'll slice you up with he's his Wolverine boy as well. things. Another well, Perth he's boy. not from Perth, but he did start, study at, at uh, Wapa. So you'd go, go gay for him. Do you have a lot of, do they, you know, when you ask that question of people, do they sort of go, <coughs> This is your second final question. Yes. Uh, do, they, do they do what? Do they sort of freeze and go, oh my God, he's asked me that question. Because I know I saw you a couple of weeks ago uh, with that fantastic actress, what was her name? Amy? Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz, that's yes. it. And she sort of answered it very openly. What did she say again, Fred? I can't remember. She said it was a... What did she say? Who was the lady that she would go gay for? No, she didn't say that. What, what was no, her answer? No, she said that... that you said what? Yeah, you, one you man's what? penis and... You what, Fred? Uh, that's disgraceful. She did not say that. She said, I like kittens. And what did you turn it into? <laughs> some grubby little thing. Yes, well, I said that, but I know it was something uh, Well, see, that was her. She, she, she did two very good things there. One, she didn't actually answer the question. And two, gave us a wonderful soundbite. Do you remember what it was? Oh, yeah, she said, who said, who said you have to turn gay? You suck one dick. Yeah. It's like, the, the, it's have true. you heard that one before? I haven't, no, thank you. I don't go in those sort Look of things. Look at you getting all nervous now. Is that the time? Look, Kate over there is saying we've got to wrap it up. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. You're a wonderful man. Rove, uh, Rove, you are live every yes, Sunday night. 8.30 on Channel 10. Yes. And uh, look out and, for and Real Stories. And keep an eye out, uh, yeah, Real Stories after us and keep an eye out for Larry Emder's show when it starts up soon. Do we know what it's called? It should just be called... Larry with an exclamation mark. Larry. Mark. But I could be wrong. Thank you very much for being on the couch today and thank you for all your support as well. More donuts, anyone? No. Can we edit that out? Damn it. Bye. <laughs> You're funny, Adam.